everyone and thanks once again for tuning in to Smash Factor TV. My name's Natalie Adams. With this video we're looking um, again at part of our hanger series um, with how to swing that golf club uh, better and this is part three of that series. So we're going to start looking at how to swing back down uh, and into impact. So what we want to do, I've just put a, an alignment pole on the floor here just to represent the target line. We've got the hanger um, taped onto the handle of the club again. We just set up here parallel to this target line and we've already talked about how to take that club back so to keep the point of the hanger that's pointing at you to feel like it's pointing behind you and then when you get to the top of the swing to feel like you've rotated that round and you've got that hanger pointing down the target line. So what we're going to look at now is on this downswing what we want to do is we want to turn the body so we don't want to use the arms, we don't want to get this point of the hanger pointing back at you straight away. If, I if you watch this way on, if you did that, that would give you a casting effect so you'd be moving the club initially on the downswing and we don't want to do that, we want the club moving as the last part on the downswing, we want to get the body moving first, then get the arms moving and then move the club as it goes through impact so that it's at maximum speed. So up to the top we want to work on keeping this part of the hanger pointing at the target line and rotating the body towards the target so that that moves the hanger point along the target line back towards the ball. So that's the move that we want to work on there. Okay, and when we've got to this position here and we've got that hanger point, uh, point pointing towards the ball there, We've now, we're able to now let that hanger point point to the left so that we can strike the ball. So as we come into impact, we want to have the hanger started in this position at setup, and then we just want to have the point of the hanger pointing to the left of the body so that we get into impact in this position here, okay? Rather than this position with the hanger pointing at you, and then it's pointing to the right of the body. So if you work on that move from the top, turning the legs, the pelvis, the rib cage towards the target to bring that hanger point along the target line to the ball, and then from this position here, then we're gonna let that hanger point to the left of the body just to release the club you'll start to hit uh, a lot, lot more consistently. You'll generate a lot more power with that. Um, and we should see that we get a nice compression into the ball. We get those hands forward uh, and some nice forward shaft lean, which will compress the ball really well for you. It's a game-changing golf tip.